as the Patriots enter a new era with Gerard Mayo, WBZ is about to enter a new phase as well. After more than 20 years, Ken McLeod, our beloved and talented storyteller and weekend anchor, is about to retire. And this video shows you just some of the many reasons he will be so greatly missed. Well, you can tell I came here from Florida because I went out house hunting in shorts today. Big mistake. On the ground, that has created somewhat of a slushy coating, and there are puddles to be had uh, just about everywhere. Now appears New Hampshire's old man of the mountain tumbled from his perch Friday night. That's when two campers are saying they heard a loud rock slide. It might well have been the demise of the old man. WBZ's Ken McLeod, live in Boston with more. Ken? Yeah, guys, LeBron James won't be the first teen to jump directly from high school to the pros, but some experts are calling him a once-in-a-lifetime once player. Now, these kids out here on the playground would love to make the kind of money he's going to make. Tonight at 11, Ken McLeod is live at the State Street Station with some new information tonight. Ken? Lisa, investigators now believe they know what forced hundreds of people to evacuate this tea stop this afternoon and made the rush hour especially memorable for a handful of riders. Few people would dispute that this new bridge is a magnificent looking structure, especially at night. But those who attended today's official dedication ceremony preferred to talk about the man for whom it was named and his mission. But there was a lot of denying, sidestepping, attacking, and interrupting. Is there something I've said that's wrong there? I did not raise my own salary. Here at Symphony Hall tonight, no Mozart, no Beethoven, just squash. CBS 4 News. Logan Airport is now set to open the nation's first new terminal built since the September 11th attack. Fires going on, and as you can see right there, folks are, are actually jumping over the fires. Live in Sky I-4, uh, Ken McLeod for uh, CBS 4 News. It's hard to believe that there's 20 inches of snow on the ground up in Essex County because there's nowhere near that here. Oh my God, yes, it's so deep. Reaching her with a microphone, though, was a chore in itself. You're on live with BZ. How's it going? Oh, great. How you doing? How's oh, heartbreak kill with the heat? It's breaking my heart, man. <laughs> it's breaking your heart, huh? She's being treated with a special drug that supercharges her immune system to fight it. With some calling it a zombie dog and others even suggesting it's a chupacabra. But finding adoptive homes for four dozen will be a challenge. Ken McLeod, WBZ4 News. Ken McLeod, WBZ4 News. Ken McLeod, WBZ4 News. Ken McLeod, Ken McLeod, Ken McLeod, Ken McLeod. I'm Ken McLeod, WBZ News. We should point out the wonderful and ageless Ken McLeod. Looks the same. He doesn't age. <laughs> I want that moisturizer. Ken's final broadcast, you're going to want to watch it, is Sunday night at 11 o'clock. We can't say enough about him. The best colleague, a wonderful yeah. storyteller, a totally stand-up guy. We admire him so much. Yes. My father-in-law is always talking about Ken McLeod. I think he likes Ken McLeod much more than he likes me. You know, my husband talks about him <laughs> a lot, too. That means we love you, Ken. Good luck. We do. We'll be right back.